this is Graham from .easy coming to you with another video today. We're going to be covering WordPress as we normally do. Today we're going to be focusing on security here, specifically with a couple plugins which we're going to show you how to install and set up within your WordPress. Now within WordPress, just like normal, we're going to be going to the dashboard where you make all your changes to WordPress. Now the reason why we're going to be showing you how to set up these plugins today for security is to help protect your WordPress site. WordPress sites are quite often targeted by hackers or other people with malicious intents, hoping to try and find an easy access way into your account to make changes. Generally, this is done through either plugins, themes, or just brute force attacks, hoping to get it right. So what we're going to be showing you today is how to download some plugins, how to set them up so that it help protect your WordPress site from some of these attempts, so they can help make sure that nothing happens to your site. So what we want to do from the dashboard where we normally make any kind of changes from within WordPress is we first of all want to go to the plugin section. We're going to go to add new and the one we're going to be installing and setting up today is called Bulletproof. We can search the plugins and it will find it in the list here. We can see it's here five stars. Click on install now. Click on OK just like normal and then we're going to click to activate the plugin. Now this can be found on the actual WordPress.org site so you definitely know it is a legitimate tool. It is something you can install. It does show that it is updated quite regularly. So I mean less than a month, so we're good. You can see a lot of people like it, so definitely well trusted. For those of you who are a little more technical based, it does actually go through and explain exactly what they are doing. That is quite interesting to read if you enjoy this thing. Otherwise, for those of you, you can just quickly jump to the bottom and see kind of what it's protecting for you and what it's doing. So now that we've installed it and activated it, the very first thing you're going to notice at the top is these big yellow warnings. Now, these are okay. This is basically the plugin telling you that, hey, there are things you can do to help make your WordPress a little more secure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the little icon that's been added for our BPS security, it's our bulletproof security. I'm going to click on that. Now, you're going to see there's a lot of different options here. Now, most of these are more for getting a little more specific and specialized and definitely if you want to take the tutorials on their site they do have quite a few good ones to show you how to go through each of these and modify them. We're going to show you how to do the key ones here. Now the first one here is under where it says security modes and this is where we actually go through and activate everything. So we're going to first of all go to the bulletproof mode, activate this. You can read here it's just going to tell you it's going to be creating some of these and limiting some information. Don't need to worry about it. You can just press OK on that go down to the next one. We're going to press activate and OK on that one as well. And then we're going to go down to the third one, activate that one as well. And then last but not least, we're going to activate the last one as well. And there we go. It's gone ahead and it's made changes to it. Now what it's done is it's giving you a warning here. This is very, very important for those of you who are modifying your WordPress URL that it shows something different. Because of the added security, they changed the way that any kind of a permalink or structure goes through. So if you do want to set up a custom structure still, you can go ahead and do that. They do actually have a guide here that shows you exactly how to do it using secure methods. So you want to quickly read up on that and have them set it up for you. It does allow you to still require that so you can cut some things out. Very nice very simple. We're not going to really touch upon it here because we're more focused on the security aspects of it. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go over to where it says edit slash upload slash download. And we're going to be going over here to the one that says your current root access HT access file. So what this does is this is basically controlling how people come into your site. Now the HT access is basically a server level access file. So some FTP programs, other programs may not even be able to see it, for instance, if you're going to looking for it. So just keep that in mind. This program here will actually allow us to see it, this plugin. Now, through this, you're going to see they've already added a whole bunch of content here, things they don't want in there. Anytime you see a little pound symbol, this represents a comment, meaning it's just explanation for it, so you can always read through if you want. What we're going to be doing to this is we're going to be actually adding an extra code here. Now, what this does is this protects your actual login sections of WordPress so that nobody except for you can get access to this. Now, we do have a code we've already prepared and set up, which we've got here, which we're going to be coming back to in a sec, so you guys can definitely see it a little later on. We've actually gotten this from reading through some of the WordPress articles, which is actually for hardening WordPress, meaning protecting your site a little better. So this is one we quickly set up for you and we're going to be showing you guys and giving it to you so that you can set this up as well. Now what this does 
from the looks of it here, is it's going through and it's actually protecting your login page. It does this by restricting access to your IP address. Now, your IP address is the actual network connection, so your internet provider is providing you, in order to make your connection to the internet. These are unique. And for this one here, we're going to be setting it so that only you can access it. In this case here, we've already actually set our IP address here. And you can see it's showing here listed. Now, what we're going to be showing you is how to get your IP address and how to go ahead and add it as well. So the first thing you need to know is how to get your IP address. Now, back in time, this was definitely a little harder to do. You had to go into the command prompt, type in some command. If you were on Mac, you would have had to go into the terminal. But these days, it's actually pretty easy. You can just go straight to Google, and you can type in, what is my IP? And it'll actually come back, tell you right there your public IP is, and then give you a number. Now, there is one thing to note about this number. Now, you may need to check with your internet provider, or if you're an office or business, you may want to check with your IT group to find out about this. But there are two different IP addresses. There's a type called a static IP address and a type called a dynamic IP address. Now, a static IP address never changes, meaning no matter how often or when I connect, my connection is always going to show the same number. Now, not a lot of people are typically on a static IP address. It's done that way for security, for helping with speed, with some load times. There's numerous different things to go into it. But generally speaking, most people will not have a static IP address. If you're not sure if you do or not, you can, again, check with your internet provider, or for those of you in a business, you can check your IT group. Now, for those of you with a dynamic IP address, now this means that your IP address will actually change over time. Generally, this is done on timed intervals. So say if you connect today versus if you connect tomorrow, you may have a different IP address. Now, typically, this doesn't change a lot. Generally, most internet providers will only modify the last series of numbers. So it is very easy to make that change to here. And we're going to show you how to do that. So for instance, let's say for right now that I have both a static and a dynamic IP, and they're both going from this one. So the one we've already set up here, this, this would be the example of a static IP. Now, if we wanted to do a dynamic IP, we go ahead and we put the exact same thing in here, except at the end of it, we type in 0 slash 24. That means every IP range from basically 0 all the way to 255 is going to be allowed both there. So what we're doing there is this will allow it from either access point and again, if you're not sure, you can check with your internet provider, and they can definitely clarify everything here. So now that we've gone ahead and we've gone and added this code in, we can finally start to add it to the actual WordPress that we set up. Now, there is one very, very important thing to do before you actually add this code. And that is because this account currently is locked. This meaning no one can touch it. So what you want to do is you want to, first of all, click on where it says Unlock HT Access File. Going to give you a little warning saying it's OK to do. You want to click OK. And this will mean that we can now go ahead and we can modify this file, which is what we want. So we're going to go down here. And then we're going to just quickly move that down a couple lines. And we're going to take the code we've got. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it. And there we go. We've got it added in the list. Now, it's not restricted just to two addresses. You can feel free to add as many as you want. Typically, you want to try and use this case for the dynamic IP just because it's going to save you space and typing. But if you do have some that change the other numbers as well, some internet providers do, then you may need to individually enter all of them. But your internet provider will definitely be able to clarify that for you. Once you've made sure to make the changes, and this will go ahead and connect up to it. And then afterwards, we want to go ahead and want to lock the HT access file again so that nobody else can edit it except for ourselves. It's so also to make sure that it's safe as well. So now it says it, it's been locked, and it shows that all of these are basically the way we want them to be. So what this does is this now means that anyone trying to access it from a different location, so from a different IP address, will not be able to actually access the site. Instead, what they'll do is they'll get a forbidden warning saying that they don't have access to the site, which is exactly what we want. Anyone we don't want accessing our WordPress login information, they're not going to be able to touch it. They're not going to be able to get to the login screen at all, which is definitely helpful and nice to use. Now, one thing to also just kind of point out that it does show here is a website scanner. Now, there is another plugin for this called Sakuri, which we are actually going to be covering in another video here for you. But Sakuri is a scanning service that does free website scans. They also do help clean out websites, and they have paid services as well for helping prevent 
any kind of infection on sites as well. So you can always go here and check out their site as well. Now they do give you a scanner site check here which goes right to the actual Sakuri site. There is a plugin we're going to be showing you which will actually add it on to your WordPress so you can instantly scan right through or check for any kind of malicious files. But it is a good thing to do. What we also suggest is we also suggest that once you've made sure to do any kind of a scan, also maybe even before you've done a scan, once you've made all the changes here, it's a good idea to back up your WordPress. Now it is also a good idea to do this constantly from time to time, say once a month, definitely at the max. Generally a lot of people like to do it either weekly or bi-weekly. Or if there's any kind of a major change you put in effect, is also a good time to do it. Now when you make any kind of a change and back it up, it's always good to make sure you keep the version on the site, version on your computer, and then you may even want to have a third version somewhere else just in case because never too safe and <laughs> basically better safe than sorry. And trust me, there's some horror stories out there, so it is always a good idea to make sure you have thorough backups. Now, one thing we do offer is we do offer a backup service itself on our servers, which is $1.50 a month. We can easily set it up on any of your accounts. And what that does is that basically covers a numerous amount of actual backups. We keep up to seven on the server for you. of uh, different dates ranging from typically within the week. We'll have a couple different versions. We'll have one generally a couple weeks back, and we'll also have one every month as well. So we do make sure to have all those backups there for you, and it is a very easy service to have. It's nice and friendly. It's there on the server, and you can easily restore it at any point. So if you do ever want to set that up or you're interested in it, you can always contact us so we can help you out with that. Otherwise, you can be more than happy to go ahead and make any changes or backups yourself online. You're more than welcome to do that as well. But this will help protect your WordPress and make sure that nobody trying to get access to it is going to be able to unless you let them because you're restricting it via IP address. So in other words, only you and only the locations you specified will be allowed to connect, which is very, very helpful and does prevent against brute force attacks, which are one of the more common ones that happen to WordPress and definitely nicer to protect yourself against because it will actually cause some resource issues as well. We thank you for watching our video. This is Graham. Make sure to like us on Facebook. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to be coming to you with more videos in regards to security, WordPress, and other things. So do make sure you follow along. We'll be sure to bring more to you.